Hi traders, I'm starting with the Euro tonight and you can see that we've had a move off this 200 EMA but look at the 50 EMA creeping over and look at the resistance we've got along here so I'm actually taking a short at these highs small position, if it starts to work I'll add to it but if we, you can see this is a potential wedge breakdown yeah, we've um, dropped a lower high, a uh, higher high, and then just just started eking our way down. And so I've got a 60 minute reversal bar in the uh, euro after a spike up to 560. We're down here to 535. So I'm just looking to see if this can roll over. Uh, like I said, small position, I add to it if it starts to work. So we, we start, if I get to my screens tomorrow morning, the Euro session, and we are breaking down here, I will maintain that short and add to it on any pullbacks. And that way uh, I can um, try and get a decent sized position if we were to break down here and get to back down to these lows at 133. So I'm not distracted by all these pushes to the upside. What I am looking at is the way it keeps selling uh, on the way down. Okay, and they might just pull the plug on it. If they don't, it doesn't matter. But I will soon know. Okay, let's get to the Dow. Uh, we've had an attempt to sort of punch higher up here, off of uh, fifteen thousand three fifty. We've got an hour and 20 minutes till the close. Uh, US jobs were came under target, but the other data was positive, the other data being the um, manufacturer survey. Okay, so if we hold here, then fine, and we might start to pull higher. Um, it would be nice to actually get a higher move into this area here, into that pivot so I can get short but um, because if we start breaking down here we're going to short low which is not a good idea RSI very low and so just looking to see if um, we get one more higher close today this this could start to bring some buyers back in I've noticed on a lot of stocks stocks are looking as if there's a few of them are putting in reversal patterns I'll go through those on a separate video In the meantime, let's just look across the other charts. This is the NASDAQ, not bad. That's the S&Ps, that's the FTSE. So the FTSE's had a good day. Uh, a lot of the UK stocks have not been anywhere near as battered as the US stocks. And uh, that's the Nikkei also with a couple of bottoming tails down there. So the Pound yen is looking very, very similar to the indices. So if we now break the highs, 166, we could climb back up. But we're smack in the middle of the 50 and the 200. We are just underneath the 50% fib, so this could still roll over. Uh, let's see what they do overnight. My euro yen swing short is again just under this 13745 so I can now on a close here start to ramp up my stop uh, I would look to get the stop around about the 13770 area just to give it a little bit more wiggle room to see if this can be a spinning top and drag it right down to 135 So note the still the air of bearishness in my voice. So just because we've been holding for a couple of days doesn't mean to say that this can stand up and reverse. And Aussie, a couple of good, a couple of small intraday moves. That's a bit of a spinning top. I think we need a bright a pullback to get the buyers back interested in that one. Euro Aussie, bit of a have a light bar on that support on the euro Aussie dollar um, 
I would certainly keep a very close eye on that one. Let's have a look at the Power Nozzy. Similar story. This is decent support down here after that big run up to 192. If we do get going, I would expect that this 189 to get tested. Uh, let's look at the data it's tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we've got rates, of course, UK and Euro rates. Overnight we've got Aussie trade balance and Aussie retail sales. Busy day. The next two days a busy day. Then on, of course, non-farm on Friday. So I will hold fire and keep a very close eye on that. A uh, quicker look at commodities, we've got oil trapped in the 15 of 200, the corn inching higher a little bit. Uh, I'd still look for a decent pullback on that. Maybe it doesn't run away. Coffee is still charging, charging up and wheat, a bit of a spinning top on there. And beans mm, get uh, hitting resistance up there and gold sideways, but I reckon that could pop up if we hold this. The 50A is coming across, not a brilliant chart, um, but I think that could be sort of a holding pattern, and we could find ourselves shooting up to that 130. So sit tight, potash. Uh, I've been too aggressive with my entry on this. Uh, once we gapped up like that, we only had a very minor pullback, and uh, now that's moving out. Um, this is a tough one to trade. This has been a tough one to trade, but none are easy. That's why we are needing to do a lot of work. Uh, I'm going to have to sit tight and hope that pulls back. Um, sugar hitting the moving average. Uh, M O S sideways. Okay, uh, stocks. So look at some key ones. Lloyd's pushing up. Barclays trying to hold. We close above 265, and I think Barclays could recover. I think I, I like that stock. I think that is a potential stopping bar, and Barclays could push higher. And Lloyd's is certainly holding up. So I'll look at Standard Chartered. That that is certainly trying to hold. Would I buy that? Um, divergent RSI. I would, I would, I would try twelve thirty-five. Let's see if that holds. RVS sitting on top of that box. Right. Let's look at some. I'm moving on to stocks now. These are the stocks I've got interest. Uh, I'm looking at. Let's have a look at the RD first. Um, that's holding up. Not. Um, I think that's a potential bear flag. I think if we break those lows, we can't get across that at the moment. Break that low, and then we are heading for 320. And I guess. Okay, I'm going to have to keep an eye out on that and not trade that yet. Actually, I've just realised I'm actually in that. <laughs> I've forgotten I'm in this. Um, I'm slightly underwater, not by much. I will ramp up my stop on that one.
Okay, um, let's keep looking. Pot I've talked about SCTY. Talked about that as a short. That was the entry 72, 7150, sorry. Um, my watch list, like S N D K. That looks as if that's holding. So uh, I'm actually short this one. Uh, again, I'm going to have to wrap my stuff up. Okay, um, this is a suggestion. This is uh, Lad Labrooks, L A D in the UK. Uh, this is I'm looking to buy. I'm going to hold out for. I might even hold out for just under 150. See if I can get a tight stop. But um, here we look. We could just roll over here. But I think it's worth a punt because this is major support We're back here in July 2012 so we've, we've come down a long way um, a reversal bar up here 175 so we've not, um, not come down a massive amount from that but I just I think that's worth a punt on LAD SSR. you need to do your usual sort of follow up research on this um, this is a new low close above next day, ESSR. I haven't checked this out. This is one of those oil companies that doesn't make any money. Then be careful, be very, very careful. Otherwise, it's a cheapie, so you might want to look at 57. And OML. UK stock, uh, big old classic stock, old mutual. What I'm seeing here is huge support. Uh, we've come down here before and ran up to 200. We're 174 at the moment. So we try and get um, sort of 170, 171 with a stop underneath these lows. See if that can climb back. Because if that breaks out there, we could even see 220. So big box potential. Um, that's OML in the UK. This is MOS in the UK. Mobile streams hammer close above next day. It's a cheapy 27 half the entry. See if that uh, see if you think that's worthwhile, and then consider a position on that one. Right, USB uh, WLD Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, this reminds me of Hog. Let's have a look at Hog. Hog looks. I suspect that might just come up and roll over, but at the moment that is trying. So back to the WLD. Uh, uh, this is Wage, W A G E. Uh, nice push up, got back into resistance and dropped. Just put the fibs on this. So you can see we fail at this fib zone here after this reversal bar. Um, I, I think we could come down to at least 490 down there. Hold out for a, a good pullback. If you don't get it, then leave it. Uh, otherwise, you got you're risking too much capital. 
that's W A G E wage. This is J L L. Uh, I think this is looking really toppy, and we've got you know, that top area there. Um, it's very bullish, but very oversold, uh, very overbought. If you try and get a pullback to one three one one three thirty area, uh, or even one one four. See if you can get a prior entry up there. We'll stop above the highs, then leave it. That's uh, J L L T X R H. Uh, potential reversal here. Twenty two ninety six is massive. Absolutely massive. Have a look at that. See, see what you think of TXRH. SI, SI. Can't find it. Okay. Look, and finally, JRS. Um. Hammer, close above next day. Got to get through 481. Need to close above 481 for confirmation. That could be uh, a reversal setup. Right, I hope that helps, and see you in the room tomorrow at 8 o'clock.